Also breaking tonight, Tampa police just charging a 15 year old who they say stabbed another teen at their high school this morning. The victim's mother now telling us she feels her daughter is not safe. Let's get right out to Isabel Rosales at Chamberlain High School. Isabel, you spoke exclusively with that victim. So how did she say this all started? I did, and she tells me she was just walking here into the school when she says the suspect looked her straight in the eyes, walked up to her and out of nowhere started stabbing her with a steak knife. It's an attack that will leave 15 year old Mystique Rogers with much more than just physical scars. I can still see what like in my head what happened. It keeps replaying over and over. Students who saw it happen stunned at the violence. She pulled it out and started swinging it on her. We all thought she was throwing punches because we didn't see the knife. A couple of students so disturbed by what they saw. And then out of nowhere we saw the girl's arm like the whole meat came off with the knife. They called their parents to pick them up from school early. I didn't even know I was cut until my jacket came off. A stab wound close to Mystique's heart and more than 15 stitches. People send their kids to school to be safe not for this to happen. Mary Rogers says her daughter knows her attacker. It's led to suspension for both before, but she never thought it would get to this point. This is the last and the only time that it's going to happen again because not sending her back to that school. She also demands a district at a metal detector. We want to make sure our schools are, are safe places, but there is a fine line between that. We don't want to make our schools, you know, fortresses. I feel like it's a bunch of bull because why do you have four if you're making if you're not making in a fortress? Why do you have four police officers at school? Roger says while her daughter heals, she wants justice. I'm going to prosecute to the fullest extent of the law as far as I can go. Now that suspect in hot water with the law facing numerous charges just sent into us over the last five minutes. She's facing aggravated battery, bringing a weapon into school grounds and concealing a weapon. Now this isn't the only time the school has witnessed students bringing in a weapon. About a year ago, two students were arrested for sneaking in a handgun in their backpack. Live in Tampa, I'm Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.